Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 12th, 2021. So yesterday we had a little price volatility. Those bears made an appearance to kind of remind us that they're still out there. But the bulls came in and defended very, very strongly yesterday, pushing us back up. But they fell just short of recovering the um, entire day. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, everyone, we have a little bit of maybe just a hesitation in the market, but we are trying to show bullishness this morning. Um, and that hesitation is just around, uh, probably around coronavirus impacts that continue to grow. We're seeing crisis um, situations in some areas of the country. We have treasury yields on the rise. And um, that is largely spurred by the hopefulness um, the the uh, Biden promise of trillions more in stimulus. So the bulls are trying to balance that and the bears are looking at some of the other impacts out there in the market. We're getting this little bit of a, a back and forth fight going on. But if we take a look at the indexes, there really is no discernible impacts here yet on the indexes, even though we've had some um, substantial vol volatility. Um, and it, it does warn us that um, a pullback could be really painful if those bears do gain an edge, just how swiftly and how far the market could fall. So one of the things I wanna remind everyone about is to make sure that you are prepared with a plan, that you remain focused and flexible on that price action, and just realize how quickly we could either create a substantial whipsaw or even a, a major uh, pullback in the market because of this um, tenuous situation that we're in right now. So watch that kind of closely. Now, when we look at the indexes of the chart, trends remain bullish. Um, we're holding above uh, support levels in the chart. And what we're really showing here overall is that we're trying to just consolidate this big move that we made last week. We're just resting up here. And as you can see this morning, we're looking for a little bit of a push higher here in the Dow. Right now, Dow futures are indicating up 70 points as I'm... Um, uh, doing this video and we're just kind of fluctuating around here now it's hard to know if we're going to see uh, those bulls push on through we continue to show some volatility in the market with a vix closing above a 24 handle yesterday leaving a little concern as we kind of hover around these new records but right now just keep in mind that we are very very bullish overall in the index charts but there is that danger if i just jump right over here to the dow just to to point out even a pullback if we pull back directly from the close yesterday if we pull back just down to here that's a 400 point nearly a 400 point move to text test that level of support it's nearly 600 points just to come down to this level of support and if we come all the way down into this level we're nearly a thousand points in in dow points so just keep in mind that um although it looks pretty um uh, benign here looking at the candlesticks in the chart just realize these are potentially very big moves that could occur if those bears decide to attack so make sure you're staying focused on that price action and remain just a little bit flexible one of the things you want to be careful of is over trading um, this market in case we get that shift or even that overnight reversal that could be pretty painful let's take a look at the spy spy bulls are still in control here as you can see trend remains higher once again we're holding above price support levels we're consolidating this big move of last week but once again just a reminder that 
if we were to come back and just test some of these um, support levels in the chart, these are pretty darn substantial moves and could be very, very painful if that pullback does begin. So make sure you're prepared for that, have a plan, and make sure you're taking some profits as we continue to rally in the market. Don't let greed prevent you from putting some money in the bank. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ rallying up nicely. As you can see, continuing to hold up, there is a tiny little bit more of concern here in the NASDAQ. You see some of the big tech struggling here. And with uh, treasury yields rising, that does not bode well for some of the big growth stocks. As a matter of fact, it kind of leans us a little bit toward more of um, consumer cyclicals, uh, maybe towards some value plays. Um, in the market. So we want to watch that carefully. Um, those rising bond rates could have a little bit of pressure or add a little bit of pressure to the NASDAQ and could also signal a little bit more price volatility um, looking forward. So watch for that carefully. Now, having said that, we held on to this price support yesterday, didn't break that down, but we do have this, just this little bit of back and forth and concern here, um, um, right there, and just realize that pullbacks into the next levels of price support on this chart could be substantial and actually quite painful. Uh, for a lot of folks if you're buying in right now. So watch that carefully. Um, right now, trend is up. We want to stay with the trend of the market. All the indexes remain in an upside trend. I want to continue to remind you that I'm not suggesting bearishness. I'm just suggesting we need to be aware. We need to be focused because this could shift very quickly. And the, the only reason that's important is because the moves could be so substantial. So keep keep an eye on that price action. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM also remaining very strong yesterday, had a really bullish move yesterday in a lot of the energy sector stocks. That's helping to continue to push IWM higher. And we also had financials hold up pretty well yesterday. Not quite as strongly as, as energy, but they held up nicely. That continues to bode well for IWM. But one thing I want to continue to point out here with IWM is how parabolic overall we are in this chart. We just continue to extend this up and go straighter and straighter to the upside. And we want to watch for that carefully. We um, a pullback into here could be a pretty painful pullback and a pullback into here, which wouldn't be a big surprise, right? Um, could be a, you know, a really painful reminder that, um, you know, what goes up must come down eventually. So keep your eyes on that price and stay very, very focused as we continue to hover just below new records in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX continues to give me concern here. And yesterday we saw that VIX rally pretty substantially. Um, as we were um, pushing back up in the market, we continued to rally here in the VIX. And you can see we pushed right back up here toward that downtrend that I've been mentioning in the chart. Notice that we have rising lows here also in the VIX. Now that shouldn't be the case when we're trying to set new record highs in the market. I got to tell you, it's just, it's a bizarre situation where fear remains very elevated as we continue to press and push for new record highs in the market. Um, we closed above a 24 handle and we closed um, the market with the VIX having tested its 50 day moving average, pulled back right there toward that 50 day moving average. And I don't think we're gonna have a major problem here in the VIX until or if we were to break above. And I think we're gonna to have to break above not only that 50, but break above this downtrend. Break above that downtrend, hold that as support, and that's where some real selling could come in. So keep a close eye on that. But it still does concern me as we're pushing up in the market. Um, we have rising lows in the VIX. So that is also signaling we've got to stay on our toes. We've got to stay at the top of our game because that whip or that complete reversal could happen at any time. Let's take a look at T2122. It's the four-week new high 
high new low ratio and as we take a look at this we did get a little bit of a pullback yesterday now the good news for the bulls on this is that opens up the door for more upside potential we've we've added some space up here for that upside move let's also keep in mind that we still have a big open hole down here that if those bears can find an edge and push us down into there um, that could be a pretty a substantial pushback so watch for that carefully but right now stay with the bullish trend of the market the bulls are are very tenacious they are buy everything it really doesn't matter what the price is chase and rush and buy everything but there are some clues out there that should give us just a little tiny bit of a pause and remind us not to over trade or chase stocks already well within um, a move um, it kind of extended we want to make sure we're buying stocks at or near price support not at or near price resistance or all-time highs let's take a look at t2101 now t2101 continuing to rally back up a little bit and i think that is a good thing you can see we're pushing back up but notice that we have yet to really break um, this downtrend in T2101, meaning market breadth is improving just a little bit, but there is a little bit of a problem going on. And yesterday's improvement was a little bit of the back and forth where we had just about as much activity in the selling wave as we did the buying wave to rally us back up. Keep in mind that we're pushing up here toward those downtrend areas and those averages. Um, we don't want to see um, that pushing back. Um, in the market. Now, it is entirely possible that if we were to get that selling wave, that would actually increase market breadth. So if we get that selling wave, um, profit takers coming in, and that pushes this up, that could be very bearish for the market. So watch that closely. That could add to that surge if um, those sellers or those bears do happen to win the day at some point in time. So far, Bears don't have any teeth. Uh, the bulls are pushing them around as if they're not even there. If that continues, awesome. But we want to be aware that the bears are still out there and they are hungry. So watch for that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have some, some things that we want to pay attention to. Not, not a big day of economic reports, uh, but we do have a, a virtual parade here of Fed speak. So we've got lots of Fed speak here throughout the day. We'll want to keep an eye on that. I doubt we learn anything new, um, but we always want to pay attention when the Fed talks. Let's also take a look that our most important report today is going to be the jobs opening report. I don't know that that's going to move us around too much. Um, as we've seen in the past, we can have um, our ADP, our private jobs numbers drop. Market doesn't care, it goes up. We had um, the um, uh, kind of an ugly move in the um, employment numbers um, last week and the market didn't care, we went up. So I'm not sure job openings are going to hurt us much at all. Everyone is just focused on that potential of new stimulus and trying to drive the market. Let's keep in mind that as we come to the close today, you want to prepare a little bit and think about um, that CPI number tomorrow. That definitely is a market mover. So make sure you have a plan for that as we come into the close of today. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We do have a few things on the earnings calendar. There are several verified reports, but really not much yet in the way of notable earnings reports. Take a look, we have um, ACI. ACI is a potential notable today. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. Looks like it's moving higher this morning. This is today's candle. We had a little volatility in it. We're pressing some resistance levels in the chart. So keep an eye on ACI. Obviously a nice trend moving up in that chart. And another one to pay attention to would be KBH. KBH could be an interesting report today. And you can see at the moment, we're trying to push back up. This has been in a bit of a downturn trend. Housing has shown a little bit of weakness here recently. Um, keep a close eye on that depending on how that reports. Um, we could break that downtrend in KBH. So watch that one closely. 
Now, um, I want to remind everyone that as we head into first quarter earnings, you might want to check the morning blog. Um, it will be, there's always a link right underneath the title of this video, and you can go back to the morning blog. As these numbers increase, I won't be able to cover all of the stocks that um, will be potentially notable, but I will list them in the blog, and you're more than welcome to go back there and uh, check that out. So um, just remember the link right below the title of the video can take you back to the morning blog, and you can get the entire list of those notable reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that these videos are worthy, smash that like button and leave a brief comment that helps me to continue to grow the channel helps us to reach out to more folks and i apologize yesterday things just got crazy i didn't get a chance to answer um, all of the comments yesterday i will try to get back to that today um, and um, but i do want you to know that i did read all of those comments yesterday so thank you for everyone who does take the time to do that there are a couple of questions in there that i want to make sure and get answered and i apologize i just didn't i ran out of time yesterday to get that done so thank you for everyone who does take the time to do that and i want to ask you too if you feel the video is worthy to um, go ahead and post um, or share this video out on your social media to help us continue to grow Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. One of the things I want to remind you um, as we're looking for potential stocks that could be setting up, that um, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, that everyone has to follow their own set of rules, follow their own due diligence, and make sure that the risk of the chart actually fits you. These are just ideas that you may want to put on a watch list and keep a close eye on. First off, let's take a look at Starbucks. Now, Starbucks Starbucks I've mentioned several times here, and Starbucks continues to set up and look pretty good, holding up nicely in that chart. Now, yesterday you saw we had a little bit of a rise and a little bit of a pullback here in that chart, and we're still holding on to this trend. So keep a close eye on that. If that can kind of perk out from here, Starbucks may try to extend to that upside and uh, looks pretty darn good overall. Um, if we take a look at um, the sector of retail as a whole, take a look at RTH, Retail Holders ETF. Um, retail doing quite well, as you can see, pushing back up through this um, resistance, breaking out here in this chart. And notice that we're showing some bullishness here. So you may want to look into some of the retail sector. One of the things that's kind of neat about TC2000, and I, I just have to click one button and I can see every stock that makes up that retail um, ETF. Um, I can quickly drill down to stocks making those moves. Um, but you might want to take a look at some of those retail stocks looking pretty darn strong yesterday and perking up. Take a look at WMT. WMT is one of those stocks that made a pretty good move yesterday, popping on through. Notice that we've struggled here a little bit on the daily. We broke that support, but we recovered it, held it, and now we're starting to move back higher. Now, I don't know if uh, Walmart is really set up to, to break out or do any of those things, but we'll wanna watch that closely. It's perking up. And one of the things I wanna remind everyone that as we're heading into this earnings season, make sure you're checking on those earnings reports. It's very, very common for a stock to show a very bullish candle just before that earnings. And if you jump in unaware of that earnings, you could get that disappointment pullback so watch that closely let's take a look at the financial sector XLF XLF continues to hold up very very strong and as you can see I've got a um, this was a um, an option trade that I no longer hold I took profits on that option trade um, had a really nice gain on that trade. I am, however, still holding a covered stock trade. So I own XLF and I'm short um, options on the covered stock position. And I may get called away on that soon. 
but I'm watching this closely and we're conti continuing to consolidate up here, looking very, very good in this chart. Any kind of rest in here that continues out and moves us into, um, let's draw this out, moves us over toward this trend, gives us that opportunity for that next upside move. Um, watch that pretty closely. A pullback could be just as productive. So just kind of keep an, an eye on that. Um, financials looking good. And of course, you could drill down and take a look at stocks like um, Citibank. Citibank, very, very strong, bullish patterns here in this chart. BAC, um, very, very strong, holding lots of bullishness in the chart. So keep, kind of keep an eye on those. And also remember that these are going to be reporting next week. So um, stay on your toes. Um, these could rally into those earnings numbers, but watch that carefully. Um, it might be a bad idea holding them into that earnings report. And then let's take a look at the oil sector. Man, uh, oil sector really had a good day yesterday pushing on whoops pushing on up showing lots and lots of strength overall now um, if you take a look at this chart we're pushing um, past this resistance level here in that chart looking very very bullish here overall we do have some resistance just above that we'll want to pay attention to as you can see right in this area some resistance and we have an overall downtrend that we're pushing up toward now one of the things that's fairly common is if we can start holding these support levels we push up toward that downtrend resistance and we'll stop there uh, temporarily but that means that we've got more upside potential here in those energy sector stocks as we try to recover um, that area and if you want to drill down here again just that one click you can see the stocks that are moving um, that index and looking very very good take a look at uh, Conoco uh, uh, excuse me, um, Cabot Oil. Cabot Oil kind of rallying up off these bottoms. Um, big strong move yesterday. And if we can break this downtrend and hold this as support, um, that looks pretty good. Occidental Petroleum showing lots of strength, pushing up through some resistance areas here, holding on to support. Um, Exxon Mobil has been extremely bullish, uh, pushing up through resistance in the chart. Any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. So lots of potential um, love showing up in that um, um, energy sector. Um, other places that you might want to look, take a look at some of that heavy equipment. Heavy equipment sector looking pretty good. Caterpillar has been really bullish here, pushing up, and now you can see we're trying to consolidate that big move. As we slide out here toward trend, we could have this trend engage, or we could have this longer term trend engage. So watch that in here. This still has that nice upside opportunity. So there's a few stocks I had did have more to cover, but I'm running out of time here. I don't want to make the video too long. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Please be safe out there. And we'll see you all right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.